Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to share with you a bathing garden haul. So, let's just jump into it. I'll share first the samples. I don't have scent descriptions for all of them. The ones that I do, I will share. As you guys know, the owner of the bathing garden is Shannon. Shannon? Why does that sound wrong now? Anyway, um, she's very generous with samples. So, the first one that she sent is Mr. Cratchit's Cider, and it is cinnamon apple, cinnamon apple cider, winter garland, and sweet sugar. Um, yeah, it's just a spicy apple cider, and this is what it looks like. Very big, probably three melts, I would say, with this sample um yes so there's that and then we have evergreen i think that says evergreen hollow and that's white fir cedar cedar wood forest moss apple apple rhubarb and sandalwood mm, a delicious christmas tree so um yes it is way up to christmas excuse my janky nails um these um, this wax I'm saving for, uh, next Christmas. So I won't be melting any of these, um, with the exception of one of the samples. Well, a couple of the samples because they're not very, they're not Christmassy. Um, this is Sleepy. I'm not going to take this out. How beautiful is this? And I have never tried Sleepy. And Sleepy is pink sugar, peppermint, and vanilla. Yummy. Peppermint is the strongest note. Um, so I will definitely be warming this one um, in my bedroom. Then she sent Rainbow Apothecary, which is lemongrass, sandalwood, rosewood, and smuggler, oh, it's uh, a dupe of smuggler soul from Lush. Yeah, I've had this before. Um, not necessarily from the bathing garden, but this is really good. I love lemongrass, and that is delicious. Smelling, that is what that looks like. Again, really very, incredibly generous size samples. Okay. They come in a cute bag, and it was tied with, like, the bakery um, string. We have just Jasmine Frost. This is strong... Feminine, heady jasmine with notes of ylang ylang and vanilla. This to me, and I I think I've had this before. It smells like mothballs on, on cold, but I know that I've warmed it before and I did really like it. It is a very powerful jasmine. So, um, must be a jasmine lover. This is salted rose. This I do not like on cold. Nope. Um, just not a fan of like that rose jammy type of scent. So I will happily pass that along to a rose lover. Chestnut Lodge, I've had this before. Just a great autumn, winter type of scent. Chestnut Lodge. We have, I can't even, raw honey and... Uh-oh. I don't know what this is. I can't tell if that's a C, a T. It doesn't matter. Um, it's a cute heart. Not a big fan of this either. This is very honey heavy. Um, does that say turmeric? Probably just not. I have a hard time sometimes reading her lettering. Um, brown sugar, cream, rose bouquet. Not a fan of this one either. Yeah, no. Very pretty to be a beautiful, like, February melt. And the last sample is the Winter Court, which I feel like I've had. I think I've had this before. Okay, so that's a, those are all of the samples. So I'm just going to push these over to the side because um, 
this is what I ordered. So I have Yuletide trimmings. I think this one was $1.95. This thing is absolutely gorgeous, this poinsettia. This is apples, peaches, and spices. And it is. And when I um, had Nick smell this yesterday, um, he said it smells like Thanksgiving. So that's Yuletide trimmings. Very happy that I picked that up. I should have picked up more, but I do not need it. Nope, I'm going to be happy with one. Arctic Moon. Bought this one solely because of the picture. Let me just, I'll check the price of Arctic Moon. Um, Arctic Moon was $3.25. Mm, how beautiful. How beautiful. Again, excuse my nails. So pretty. Arctic Moon is Icy Peppermint, Juniper Berries. No, it says Juniper Breezes. And Hints of Lavender. So it's nice. It's just nothing... Um, Okay, then this is Yeti Nog, you guys. So <clears throat> this is the packaging for Yeti Nog. This is the gorgeous looking hunker chunker of Yeti Nog. And Yeti Nog is a dupe for Lush's Yog Nog. And it is exact... Again, had Nick smell this. And I said, what do you think this smells like? And he was that was like, it can't be. Is that Yagnog? So um, I got one in this size. And this was, how much were these? Sorry, I have the uh, 325. Um, I have the price list right here. So I picked up one in this shape. And then I picked up three clamshells. Um because, and I'm so happy that it is spot on for Yagnog because he is very happy. These we might not totally wait until um, Christmas next, next, you know, this December again for. So Yeti Nog is described as buttery vanilla milk, nutmeg, cinnamon sticks, caramelized brown sugar, <clears throat> Bear, and hints of sugared berries. You guys, look at the beauty. These look like decorated sugar cookies. Oh, it is Yog Nog goodness. Um, that is Nicholas's new favorite from Lush. He loves Yog Nog, and we couldn't get it when we went, tried to order it for Boxing Day, and then I went to the store like two days after or something, and they were totally sold out. So he's very happy that his room can at least smell like Yagnog. Okay. We have Angelic Patchouli. The clamshells are $3.95. Oh, this is pretty. This is Angelic. Uh, what did I say? Angelic Patchouli. And it's a it's super pretty patchouli in here. Um, let me just take, see if I can get the bottom out to smell. This is great and it is described as patchouli wood notes blend with vanilla jasmine and hints of citrus so the patchouli i feel like mixed with the jasmine just gives it it's not like that heady patchouli it's a very pretty pretty patchouli we're just gonna stack these or else we're gonna run out of going to run out of room Next, we have Claws Manor, and Claws Manor is gingerbread, blends with nutmeg. Um, oh, wait, excuse me. Gingerbread blends with nutmeg latte and sweet cinnamon candy. That is the patch packaging on Claws Manor, and this is the beauty of what is inside. So pretty. Oh my gosh, you can smell it. And it does. It sounds like a yummy um, gingerbread latte. So I've never, I've never ordered from um, the bathing garden at, uh, at Christmas time. So these are all um, ones that I've never had before. This is cranberry fig, and it's tart cranberry is balanced with sweet fig and a touch of citrus. I love me some citrus. Um, 
I don't really know what I get with this one. I remember smelling it when I was smelling it yesterday. I'm not, I can't tell what I smell with this one. This smells like very complex. I can't, I can't tell you that it smells like cranberry. I can't say that it smells um, like fig or even citrus, but this is the outer package and this is what that looks like. So that is cranberry fig. Then we have frankincense and myrrh. That's the outer package. Um, oh, so pretty. And look at this. It has like a little um, like gold um, bell in there. And this is exactly what it says. It's frankincense and myrrh. And it is just a beautiful, if you've never smelled frankincense or myrrh, it's a very, um, it's such a great, great, great fragrance. When I, I'm just going to wait and talk about it. Like when it's an empty, I know that's a long way away, but if you know anything about like frankincense and stuff, it's very, um, it's used for a lot of different things medicinally, um, spiritually. There's a lot, um, just a really beautiful scent and I'm glad to have that. I definitely will wait for the holiday season again to melt that. This is gro gross. Ghost of Christmas yet to come. Oh my gosh, so pretty. Oh, it smells delicious. And this is deep spiced cinnamon, nutmeg, clove, and black pepper. So, like I said, I'm going to save these for Christmas. And I shouldn't need to buy any Christmas bags. Okay, we have Winter Palace. Again, I don't think that I've ever tried this. Maybe I had a sample of it. Winter Palace is fresh. French, lavender, winter berries, vanilla, pomegranate, strawberries, icy peppermint, hints of tea, and pink sugar. I get the lavender and the strawberries and the icy peppermint, but that's beautiful. Then we have the Winter Prince. I had to get this one. This is frankincense topped with frank frankincense resin. So the resin, oh my gosh, it smells like a beautiful like upscale um, soap or a lotion. The resin from frankincense comes from trees. Um, yeah. So good. Just a very like clean, pretty scent. And I love that with the reindeer. Um, Santa's chimney smoke. Is that what that says? Santa's chimney smoke. Yes. And this is complex tobacco leaves blend with patchouli, caramel, and sugared vanilla. Oh, you really get that. The tobacco. That's so good. Love this. And this is just like a little kind of a I mean, obviously, I wouldn't stick that tree into my wax. I, like, save these little trinkety things that she sends. I always think that I'm going to make a little... It doesn't matter. Okay, so there's that. That smells really good. Then we have Pink Candy Queen, which I did get two of these. And I, I'm not, I think just because of the name. Pink Candy Queen. Um, so I'll put one there and I'll show you guys this one. It is sweet pink candies, pink cotton candy, pink bubble gum. And this is, um, the dupe of, uh, Snow Fairy from Lush. I've had this, like, called other things before. I've had the Snow Fairy, um, dupes. I like it. Probably two clamshells of it is too many. One probably would have been spice, but just beautiful. Smells delicious. We have the Winterlands. 
Oh my gosh, I love this. So, 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 so good. Pretty. And the Winterlands is Siberian fir, frosty pine, green apple, bottom notes of clove, sweet, what did I write? Sweet winter berries, yes. This might be my favorite. Oh, it's just so, such a perfect scent to have going like while you're sitting around your Christmas tree, but it is after Christmas. <laughs> and um, I'm just gonna save them unless I get some crazy craving to melt it in the summer or the spring. This is Rosemary Mint and it is Rosemary Essential Oil, Garden Grown uh, Peppermint and Spearmint Leaves. So, whew, that is a strong, strong rosemary. It smells good though, how beautiful is this? So yeah, it's very strong on that rosemary, which is good. We like our wax to be strong. And then this is, um, I can't read that first. I mean, refer to this. What do you say? Something. Oh, iced peppermint cordial. And it is sweet peppermint, blends with cool starlight mint and marshmallow liqueur. This, I'm not, I'm not really getting a sense right now on this, but that is so pretty. Yeah, I can't really smell anything on this one. So, it's got a good long time to cure. A couple left. This is When Fall Meets Winter. I just loved the name of this. And look at how gorgeous that is. Like, fall is up here and there's winter. Is that beautiful? Oh, it sure is. That's the cover, sorry. And when fall meets winter is golden brown sugar, golden brown sugar caramel, crisp green apples, crystallized sweet mint, and white vanilla. And you get the apples straight up. Oh, it's so good. Mm. So, a good October, November melt there. Two left and we are done. This is Russian ice bath. And that is what the inside looks like. I just can't with her wax. It's, I could just look at them all day. Um, Russian ice bath is peppermint, menthol, spearmint, eucalyptus, lemon, and vanilla. And again, I'm not really getting anything on this one on cold. But I, they're all like eucalyptus, menthol, spearmint, lemon. Those are all strong scents. So I think it just needs to, it just needs to sit. <clears throat> so that is a Russian ice bath. And for our final, oh no, I have two left. Okay. This is Sleigh Bells. Loved the name. Beautiful sleigh bells. Look at that candy cane. Shimmery, shimmery prettiness. Okay, and sleigh bells is frosty sugar dusted pine layered with orange candy cane, clove, and apple. Oh, that is yummy. That is really, really good. The um, apple with the clove and that peppermint from the candy cane. That's really pretty. Sleigh bells. And finally, this one isn't really a um, Christmas scent in my opinion. This is Reindeer Town. Love, love, love the name. That's what it looks like. Look at that little gold reindeer pretty. Okay, and a reindeer town is um, pumpkin tea, spice chai, and foamy cream. And it is pumpkin spicy. Oh, that smells so good. Okay, so yeah, that's it. 
So didn't need to place an order. I'm not going to get into it, but I seriously am on a ban. Um, I saying that I have an order coming from Kay's, which I'm sure it'll be here within the next couple of days. And then I have a pre-order from Sassy Girl Aroma. And then that is it, you guys. I need to um, melt what I have. I mean, plus like selling Scentsy. I have Scentsy. I have candles. I just, um, I went a little, I got a little out of control again. So I reeled it back in and I'm going to try to not purchase anything until April. Um, with that being said, my only thing that I think I would break that for would be Teddy B's just because her stuff is so hard to get. So that would be the only time. Um, other than that, I am on a ban. I'm not buying any more wax, any candles, nothing like that. I'm also not buying any, um, like I'm not spending money on perfumes and, uh, I'm going to say luxury items. So I'm going to see. I have banned before for six months. And I know I can do this. This is more to like prove to myself that I can. Because I feel like I have no self-control sometimes now. Well, I don't when it, comes, when it comes to wax. And I need to. Because um, I have more than enough wax to keep myself happy. But you know that half of it is like the thrill of like ordering it. When there's a... Um, like a restock and you're like rushing to get what you want, but it's unnecessary. I love the wax that I have. I want to enjoy melting it, not feel overwhelmed warming it. Like I have to get through things. That's not how I want it to be. So enough of my yammering, um, bathing garden. If you have not ordered strongly, strongly recommend, um, fantastic $3 and 95 cents for a clamshell. I mean, that's a fantastic pr that's a fantastic price and all of her, the beautiful detail that goes into these works of art is just, I don't know, breathtaking. So that's it, everybody. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week. I went back to work this week after being off for a little bit over two weeks. The kids went back to school this week. So getting our, our routine back um, underway. It's funny how you can get lazy in the two weeks that you have off, but... That's it, you guys. Thank you so, so much for watching. If you recently ordered from um, the Bathing Garden, please let me know um, what you got. Um, if you've melted anything, are you hanging on to your stuff until next holiday? Um, that's it. Please take care, and um, I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye-bye.